Hi guys, it's Chris with City Girl Homestead and, and Jack. So today we are doing a special request for beef barley soup, but I can tell you already, we're going to doctor it. <laughs> we're going to do it our own way. So when I post the recipe, know that I didn't follow it completely. You know how I can be. So we're going to turn this on low so it can get warming up. Inside here, it calls for six cups, but we actually put eight cups of beef broth, and we use the um, the beef broth crystals. So that's what we used. Let's see here. If I can get it down into the pot there. Now you get to see Jack. Look at that. Hey, people. <laughs> All right, now we have our canned beef, and we're going to pour that. I'm going to pour the juices and everything right into it. It wants to come out anyway. <laughs> mine doesn't lighten, Jack. Neither's mine. Oh, really? <laughs> just a minute. Mush it just a little bit. Whoops, I just lost a piece of my beef. You get every drop of that good stuff. Thank you. This is our canned beef roast. Now this is also going to be a pantry pool meal. So everything you see has come from our pantry, refrigerator, or refreezer. So it also asks for three cloves of garlic. But you know I don't measure that because I get... So I'm just going to throw some in there. I'm going to slide right there behind you, Jack. All righty. It also asks for some onions. And, well, I figured instead of us chopping up more onions, I should say me chopping up more onions. Why not use some of those dehydrated ones we just had? I'll give Jack some. I'm sharing, Jack. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> All right. And then instead of using a raw carrot, I'm going to use my canned carrots. Jack's going to use a can can of them. And I'm going to use a can of corn. Tom didn't bring up any of my canned corn because I forgot to tell him to do it. <laughs> In a can of our diced tomatoes. And we don't have fresh mushrooms because we're doing pantry pulls. So we're going to use a can of our canned mushrooms. Look at all that. And then it says to use a tablespoon of parsley and a teaspoon of oregano but actually I'm just going to use a teaspoon of both you want some oregano jack sure yeah thank you <laughs> Now, it also says to use some celery. And so, what I did when we found celery on sale, I put it in the um, KitchenAid and I got it all sliced up. So, we're going to actually use some of our frozen celery. Ta-da, Jack. <laughs> I made a mess. <laughs> That's all right. You'll sweep it up. It'll be fine. <laughs> I thought you missed the spots. <laughs> what did you want to say to people about your um oh. your compliments and stuff? Uh thank you for your compliments about my new bib. I like your compliments. We're calling it a bib because it's more manly, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, and then we're gonna put some salt and pepper in there.
You want some pepper jack? Yep. Get it? Pepper jack? <laughs> Chris got jokes. Chris has got jokes today. Uh, we don't see how he's back on a plane. Yeah. <laughs> Jack's got jokes too. Jack's got jokes. He's funny. We'll say hi, Jack, on a plane. That's probably not a good idea, Jack, huh? Yeah. All righty. So now we're going to let this warm up a little bit before we add the barley. Now I'm going to pull you back down here because... All right. So we're going to let that warm up get hot before we do the barley. And I wanted to bring something up. I got a really nasty thing from a lady today. And how she said that I'm taking advantage of Jack and the food banks were taking advantage of him and whatever. I do want to let you guys know that like the pork chops, yes, Jack shared with me, but everything else in that recipe was mine. We share, um, we sometimes grocery shop together and I'm not taking advantage of you, am I? No. <laughs> so I just want to make that clear. My sister goes, well, maybe just make it clear to people that I'm not doing that. So, anyways, we're going to let this warm up a little bit. I can't wait to try it because you know what? I've never, never made it. And then we got those biscuits, too, to go with it. So, we'll be back in just a couple minutes. Alrighty, so we're back. So, the next thing is two-thirds cups of barley. So, we got one-third cup there for Jack. And Jack needs a second one. This is so weird because I've never cooked with barley and neither is Jack. So, A lot of times when you guys do these special requests, it's a first for us. <laughs> yeah. There's one third for me. And we're not going to lie, we did try the broth and it's... What's it taste like, Jack? It's awesome, isn't it? Yep. Alrighty. Very good. So we're going to stir that barley into it. And then it says it takes about 20 minutes for that barley to cook. So I'm going to turn my heat down. Oh, I already did. I just wanted to let you guys know, too. Maybe. <laughs> It calls for bay leaves. I didn't use that because I'm not into bay leaves. And it also asks for thyme. And I'm not... Thyme, get it? But I'm not into the thyme. So I didn't add those things. So obviously, you can make these recipes into anything that you want. It's your kitchen, your rules, your, your food. And Jack and I, we cheated. We took a little tiny bit of a roll and we tasted it. Yeah, that was good. <laughs> we cheated just a little bit. So we'll be back when it's done, and we'll let Tom taste test it. He'll be home on time, because tonight's AJ swim classes again. So we'll be back. Bye. All righty, there's Tom's dinner. Ooh. It's nice and hot, too. I just wanted to prove I had enough oxygen to do that. Oh, okay. Hmm. hmm. That's really good. I thought you said you didn't like beef barley soup. Have you changed your mind? <laughs> so everything in there is canned. Um, out of our pantry and including the meat and everything. Pretty good, huh? Mm hmm All right, so now you're going to taste those dinner rolls that I made. With honey butter on Mm-hmm. That requires a second bite, too. Only a second bite? You may take a third for that. Mm -hmm. Aren't those rolls really good? They are really good. What about the honey butter? Honey butter is really good. <laughs> Fit for a king? Fit for a king. Bye, Tom. Bye, Tom.
Have a blessed night, everybody. Be a blessing.